What we're going to do right now is show the formation of a carbon-carbon bond. This is done with a terminal alkyne. Now, carbon-hydrogen bonds are very non-acidic, but this particular type of carbon-hydrogen bond is the most acidic. And the reason for that has to do is because this carbon here is sp hybridized, it has more s character in the bond, and so it's the most acidic. It has a pKa for this proton somewhere around 26, depending on what these other groups are, but they tend to be around 26. So to remove a hydrogen like this, you first off need to have a really decent base. You've got to have a conjugate base whose conjugate acid has a pKa higher than 26, so it's got to be a really, really strong base. The bases that would be capable of doing this would be a deprotonated amine, a deprotonated alkene, or a deprotonated alkane, and those are the only ones that will work. Typically, you're going to see Na, NH2. NH2 is the deprotonated ammonia. And if you look at that pKa table, ammonia has a pKa of 36. So it is a weaker acid than a terminal alkyne. Therefore, its conjugate base is a stronger base than the deprotonated alkyne. And that's going to make this a favorable reaction. So all you're doing here is this NH2. It's going to come in here and remove the proton because it's a really strong base. And as a result of that, carbon gets these electrons. This is going to result in the deprotonated terminal alkyne and ammonia. That's why we do this reaction in ammonia, because that's the corresponding conjugate acid. Okay, so at this point, it's going to be paired up with the sodium. That's the end of the first step. If you want to make a carbon-carbon bond, you would then take this base and react it with the primary substrate. And it must be a primary substrate. If you remember that chart I gave you on iLearn, it tells you that primary substrates, when they react with anything, go through an SN2 substitution unless it is a strong bulky base like terp-butoxide. This is not a bulky base. That is a primary carbon. So even though this is a really, really strong base, it's not a bulky base. So it tends to favor the substitution reaction. If you tried to use this type of a base though on a secondary or a tertiary substrate, because it is such a strong base, it will do an E2 elimination. It will not do a substitution. So be very careful with that. So I'm going to draw a primary substrate with a decent leaving group, my favorite one, bromide. So it would now come into the solution once you have this deprotonated terminal alkyne, and the solvent for that again would be ammonia, we just saw that on the last slide. And because again this is a primary substrate, you can do an SN2 substitution. And it will come in from the back side, add to the carbon, and the bromide will depart. This will result in the formation of this carbon-carbon bond. Okay. And then you just have NABR left over as spectator islands in the solution.